To start, let's remove all four lug nuts and take this wheel off with a 19 millimeter socket. The next thing I want to do is remove the sway bar link from the strut right here. This is a 14 millimeter nut and I know it's not going to come off if I just use my air gun on it, but I'm going to try and break it free this way from this uh, mounting point here. So the nut is broken free. It's not loose yet. You can try an Allen head in there and if yours is not as rotted as mine, it might work. I know for sure mine's going to strip. So I'm not even going to try that. I'm just going to go right ahead to uh, grabbing onto the backside with locking pliers. That will most likely ruin the boot, although I'm going to try not to, but I always suggest doing sway bar links in pairs with struts. All right, let's see what this does. Okay, it worked a little bit. Let's try again. Now that it's further away, on the back side, I can try some larger pliers. <clears throat> try to make these nice and tight. <laughs> Got it. Release your locking pliers, and I didn't even damage the boot. Look at that. With the 12 millimeter, let's remove this bolt right here. Not so easy to see, but right behind here, there's this ABS cable. This has to get popped off of the strut, just like this. And then go ahead and follow it along and pop it off of over here too, where it mounts on with this rubber piece. Next, get a 19 millimeter wrench, hold one side and use a 19 millimeter socket and remove these two bolts. Sometimes these are rusted in here and the bolt won't spin. The nut will come off, but the bolt won't spin in that case. Take the nut off and then uh, just try to work it back and forth and spray some rust penetrant in there. Okay, now you can wiggle the knuckle back and forth, drive these bolts out. Watch out because the knuckle is going to want to drop down. Don't let it drop too far. Don't put any tension on your brake hose and your ABS wire and don't pull it out like that because you can potentially separate your CV axle. So to prevent that, I'm gonna let it drop down, push the strut back, and just move this to the side. And I'm just gonna use a bungee cord and secure it. You can also bring it this way if you'd like. Oh, this one, this might be better actually. And then uh, once I secure it with a bungee cord over here, should be all set, and then you can avoid removing your axle. Up top in the engine bay, once your hood is open, you'll see this little cap here. It's removable. And once you pop it off, you can see the top of the strut right behind it. There is a little cap. Go ahead and remove that. A little dust boot for the threads. Now to break this free, you'll need to place a 17 millimeter wrench on the nut and then a six millimeter Allen at the top, just like that. Okay, now while you hold the Allen, push on the wrench. That'll break that nut free. There we go. Things pretty tight. You can see the nut is broken free. So at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this out. I'm holding the strut as I'm on the last few threads here. Oh, there we go. That's, that's the last thread. Careful of your ABS wire, your brake hose. Get it to clear everything. And there it is. And this is what we were fighting. Uh, and just so you know, the spring is not gonna come apart on you. There's another nut right here that takes care of that. Um, this is basically the mounting point right here. So let's recycle this. And from in here, you can go ahead and grab these pieces. On the new strut, go ahead and remove this mounting nut at the top which by the way is now an 18 millimeter, not 17. And just remove this top part here. Do not remove this, this stays on the bottom, and then the frame, and then the top part sandwiches everything together. Now carefully bring the new strut up into place. Oh, 
once it's up like this, go ahead and put this top piece in. And then of course the nut. Now you can let go of the strut. Let's go ahead and tighten it up. I'm going to start with my ratchet, but I'm most likely going to have to switch to the Allen and wrench method like I was doing before. All right, let's get the torque wrench. Looks like I did not have to switch to the Allen. The stud and the whole shaft of the strut stayed in place. 33 foot pounds for this mounting nut. All right, that's 33 right there. Now let's put on this cover and we'll go back down and reattach the rest of the strut. I'm gonna remove my bungee cord. I'll get that off of there later. Now you can turn the strut whichever way it needs to go to line up with the knuckle. Put the knuckle in, push it up. Let's put the bolts through. Once one of the bolt hole lines up, go ahead and slide a bolt through and then move the knuckle around and line up the second one. Slide that one through as well. Go ahead and reattach the two mounting nuts. Let's bottom these out. Now let's torque them. The torque for these is 66 foot pounds. I'm gonna torque the nut side. That way I get a more accurate torque spec, not the bolt side. There's one. And second one. Let's put this brake hose back. Put the bolt in. Snug it up. ABS wire back into the strut here. Behind here, there's also a securing point for the ABS wire. Put the sway bar link back through the strut. Put the nut on. Let's snug it up. Nice and snug. Torque this to 23 foot pounds. Now you want to do the same thing to the other side, and then of course go get yourself a four wheel alignment. Go ahead and put the wheel back on. Start on all four of your lug nuts, bottom them out, and then torque them to 80 foot-pounds. Perfect.